but at least we're going to see some of them go to jail. Right? I mean, they're going to have to break up the banks. I mean, the party's over. I don't know. I don't know. I have a feeling that in a few years, people are going to be doing what they always do when the economy tanks. They would be blaming immigrants and poor people. But Mark was wrong. In the years that followed, hundreds of bankers and rating agencies executives went to jail. The SEC was completely overhauled, and Congress had no choice but to break up the big banks and regulate the mortgage and derivatives industries. Just kidding. Banks took the money the American people gave them, and they used it to pay themselves huge bonuses and lobby the Congress to kill big reform. And then they blamed immigrants and poor people. In the movie The Big Short, actor Steve Carroll plays the role of Steve Eisman, where he makes hundreds of millions of dollars buying subprime residential mortgages. Now, Eisman is a portfolio manager at Neuberger Berman and is shorting stocks like Barclays and TD Bank. He's known for shorting and he's still shorting every single day. Eisman's largest short position right now is Zillow. The backbone for Eisman's argument is that Zillow has ran out of ideas for expanding their business past listing homes. Basically what was happening was Zillow got to a very large size for its platform. Growth was slowing dramatically. Eisman continues to say, I thought there was a lot more competition for the platform and so I thought the growth in the platform was really just continuing to slow. For many months, Zillow has declined to comment on Eisman's thoughts about the company and with growth slowing down for Zillow, the company could end up in a major disaster. Zillow is now one of the most shorted stocks in the market, with over 20% of the company's flow accounting for short positions. Despite selling over 400 homes in the first quarter, of 2019, Zillow has lost $45 million. $45 million. Zillow has been losing loads of money every year, but their revenue growth is still astonishing as of now. Yeah, that's not true. During CNBC's Power Lunch Me, Eisman said that Zillow has one of the most flawed business models he's seen in a very, very long time. The part of it I find the most problematic is what they call, I believe, their iHome business, their internet buying business, where they actually go out and buy homes and flip them. I actually think the company doesn't understand the real risks of this business, which are massive. He goes on to say that there are thousands of mini markets all over the United States. They're all local. They're all extremely different. They all have incredibly different risks. This is a capital intensive business. I know only one thing for certain, between now and 5 years from now, assuming the company has some level of success, there will be massive problems that they will uncover. I'm sure there will be write downs, I'm sure there will be impairments, and I'm convinced that the investor base doesn't have a clue about what this business is really all about. Eisman continues to say that in a recession, which is a possibility with the global industrial slowdown, Zillow will be hammered down to pieces. It's almost like you know every financial services company that I know of would kill to be thought of even for a nanosecond as an internet platform company. And here I have an internet platform company has tried to become a financial service. This more recent statement by Eisman has left the staff at Zillow enraged and this time around they actually responded to Eisman's comments. Emily Heffer the Zillow Director of Corporate Communications said that demand from consumers for a Zillow offer service is overwhelmingly positive. Our market making approach to buying and selling homes for the benefit of consumers who want to move is working. We remain confident in our long term strategy to create a seamless integrated real estate transaction for consumers. Now which side are you guys taking? Personally, I am definitely convinced by Eisman. Zillow is struggling to expand. They've been trying to do everything they can to expand. They're still expected to grow in the future, yet they won't be able to make up for this expected growth. To top it off, Zillow isn't even cash flow positive and they're still losing loads and loads of money every single quarter. Yet Zillow is already down over 40%, so I will not be shorting the stock 
Let me know what you guys think about Eisman's short. And I hope to see you in another video. Peace out.